Khalil might be the best striker in mixed martial arts that Alex Pereira's fought from one guy that would say no to a fight to one guy that won't. This is my segue to uh, Alex Pereira. Pereira versus Khalil Roundtree. Yeah. Khalil Roundtree, his coach, uh, I'm assuming we're talking about Eric Nixick or John Wood. I always get them John Wood. John, John Wood. John Wood. They look very similar. They do. And they're they both do. in Vegas. <laughs> do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, and great coaches. Uh, my bad, John. He says that he thinks if anybody shoots a takedown in that fight, it's going to be Alex Pereira. Words are, he said, I quote, I believe, honestly, my gut, I think Pereira shoots on Khalil. I think he's the one that breaks game first and shoots on Khalil to try and get that takedown. That's actually something that Pereira has done before. I mean, we ain't shooting over here. I can tell you that. Khalil can. It's not like we don't train MMA or wrestling, but I think Alex shoots first. I would be shocked if this fight goes five rounds without somebody. Uh, I would be shocked if this fight goes five rounds, someone is going out on their shield. It's going to happen. What do you think about that statement? Well, Khalil's definitely not shooting, for sure. No. Um, and I don't think Alex is shooting. I don't think so. I think he was. I think he tried being a little bit sneaky with Izzy, just because. But other than that, it, what, one takedown on Izzy. Yeah, that's that's it. He's not shooting. It's, it wasn't the best take. You're not gonna mm-hmm. lie. Yeah. No. I don't know if you could call it. That's not the one where you go, bro. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know that when you yeah. learn a new skill and you try it for right. real in real life, you're like, oh, it worked. That's not one of those. That's not the one. But, but I will say this though. I will. Here's a hot take for you. Hmm. Hot take. Khalil might be the best striker in mixed martial arts that Alex Pereira's fought. No, that's a hot take for sure. Well, it might be true though. Think about it. And maybe the light. You think, you think Khalil's, better than, Khalil's better light, than Israel? Light heavyweight division. Oh, in the light heavyweight division. In the light heavyweight division. I don't think because, so. I think well, Jan Bohovic, I think really, Jan Bohovic is probably the most fundamentally sound striker in the whole division. Oh, really? Out of anyone? I think so. Fundamentally, I'm not saying he's that's he's a not, hotter take than what I just said. No way. He's not he's not as flashy. He's not as as he doesn't have as many knockouts as Pereira and, and, and as emphatically as his are. But I like you were, I thought you were making me doubt that question with a hot take, and then you come out with some wild shit. I just, Jan I just that's not wild. <laughs> that's not, Jan Blachowicz and Alex fought, and I, I and I don't think, with all respect to Alex, I don't know that Alex won that fight. I, I don't think anybody won that fight. It was a pretty bad, sloppy fight. They were both I, exhausted. It was at Salt it Lake was City. At, it was at Salt Lake City. It was at altitude, yeah. which. But I thought Alec, or I thought Jan looked good. He did a good job of dealing with the leg kicks. He didn't take any big shots to the head, which is hard in a mm. fight with Alex Pereira. Um, and, and just no, in I terms agree. of, of, of tougher of tough guys to deal with. I don't know. Khalil offensively is probably one of the more dangerous guys that Alex is going to have to deal with. But just think in terms of problems in front of you, I think Jan Blahovic is a bigger problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, if you look at Khalil, I mean, he's on, what, a six-fight win streak, I think, maybe five. You know, some pretty good opponents on there. He beats them. Monsters. (laughs) Uh, uh, um, But Pereira, I mean, it's it's basically Blahovic, which again, former champion, Yuri, former champ, Jamal, former champ. Yuri Prohaska is a wonderful fighter. I really enjoy him. But he does have a lot of openings. He does have a lot lot of deficiencies. He has some unorthodox tendencies that for somebody as polished as a Pereira is going to give him opportunities. Jamal Hill, again, I'm not here shitting on Jamal, far from it. But, you know, he's, he's, he's a slugger. He's a street fighter. He's got power. You know what I mean? And he's a good boxer. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he isn't. But when you look at Khalil, I was talking about this earlier to someone, he's, he's so shelled up. He's like a teenage mutant ninja turtle, and his shell is his shoulders, his chin is tucked in, his mm-hmm. pine tie tie, he's giving it the whole tie boxing thing, he's checking leg kicks, he's got good power, he's fast, 
and he's got a massive opportunity. And you bring up the Jan Blachowicz fight, you know, wasn't one of those viral knockouts. Jamal was, Yiri was, of course. But I don't think it's a wild um, thing to consider that Khalil might go out there and beat Alex Pereira. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing at that. Um, Does it disagree? I want it's, to. it's it's possible for sure. For sure Here's what possible. I go back to. Everyone says I'm f- I'm trash, right? I suck. I'm getting old. I need to retire. And I had no problem finding Khalil more often mm-hmm. than I should. You know, have. You if, I'm as, if I'm as if I'm as bad as everyone says I am. I watched it last night on the way to my massage because I knew uh, this morning I was doing a UFC 307 preview mm-hmm. show for TNT Sports. So I watched it last night before got in this immense pain and you were landing some good shots you were for sure the straight right. right got through many times and so i was able to i was able to land on him i was able to push him back and take and take space from him he never really pressured me too much again he like he threw a nasty bomb and put me down but i just i'm if i put myself where i think that i was in that fight short notice large weight cut and and not sharp and really training. If I put myself in that position and then take an Alex Pereira, who's going to be in fantastic shape. I don't know if I'm pulling the, pulling the curtain back here, but he's already been in Salt Lake city for a long time acclimating. So he's going to be, his conditioning is going to be fine. And in a fight with a guy that you're not worried about shooting takedowns too much, or even if he does get a takedown, he's not going to be too tough on top. You can probably get back to your feet. I feel like he's going to be able to throw freely. And he's way bigger than me. And I yeah. was bigger than Khalil. So, oh, yeah. I just, I think the size, the power, he's got way more power than I do. So, if I was able to touch him, Alex Perez should be able to put him down. Oh, but, oh for sure. But if the speed with Khalil could out. be a huge problem. The speed, mm-hmm. the speed could be a big problem with Khalil. He's got to, I'm he's just have saying, to adjust I'm just saying, that. in the light heavyweight division, I think he's the best striker that he's fought so far. But still, great discussion. It was good, good back discussion. and forth. I like it. I like it. I like it. Nobody does selling better than Shopify, home of the number one checkout on the planet and the not so secret secret with shop pay that boosts conversions up to 50%, meaning way less carts that go abandoned and way more sales going on. So if you're into growing your business, your commerce platform better be ready to sell when your customers are scrolling or strolling on the web, in your store, on their feed and everywhere in between. Businesses that sell more, sell on Shopify. All you got to do is go to shopify.com slash believe, all lowercase. You can sign up for $1 per month for a trial period and you will be up and running. You'll be online. You'll have your website. You'll have the major payment methods. You'll be bloody selling to everybody all over the world and hopefully making a killing. 